שלום חברים, מה נשמע? Let's see if you can guess today's question. You just need to look at this picture and I think you will find out immediately. Okay, I'm going to refresh the page, you'll see the question immediately. Yes, what is mana? Let's see what is mana. So first of all, mana in Hebrew is man. That's mana. So we will go to Exodus 16.31. ויקראו בית ישראל את שמו מן, והוא כזרע גד לבן, וטעמו כצפיחית ודבש. And the house of Israel called the name there of manna, and it was like coriander seed, white, and the taste of it was like wafers made with honey. This is one good cake, huh? Let's see what the BDB wants to say about it. He says, basically, they say, the dictionary claims that this is probably the juice you can produce out of the tamarics. There are many, many tamarix, tamarix trees in the West Sinai Peninsula. And it tastes sweet, sticky, and honey-like. So you can never miss. And they made something like a, a cake, like a bread. Some say that the, the derivation of the word is coming from Egyptian. Menu in, menu in Egyptian is simply food. So some are correlating this to this word. And it, it, it wasn't just uh, the food. It was more of a symbolic food that was after that held in the jar of Aaron. This is the instruction about keeping a jar of manna and placing it before the testimony. And everyone knows what is a testimony. The testimony refers to the two tablets of the Ten Commandments. So what can be more important than that? Yes, this is Aaron. He needs to put the manna or portion of manna inside this jar and keep it inside the testimony. Let's read the instruction that Moses is giving him. Vayomer Moshe el Aharon. Kah tzintzenet. אחת, ותן שמה מלוא העומר מן. This is from Exodus 16.33. And Moses says, said unto Aaron, take a jar and put an omer full of manna therein. So in spite of the fact, the ark is not built yet, there is an instruction to hold this manna for later on. But what is that? What is Melo Haomer? What is this measurement? Let's check. If you want to check, you just need to go to Exodus again. Exodus is our hero today, 1636. And they say that now an Omer is the tenth part of an Eifa. Eifa is about 40 liters. Uh, so what makes the, the quantity here of Omer? It's about 43 eggs. What is so funny about it, or I don't know, funny or absurd, this is about the daily portion of a man. It's what they ate. About 30, 43 eggs per day. Mm. So what do you need to do and what you should not ignore, but you know how Israelites were sometimes ignoring or not exactly fulfilling what Moses was commanding. You should gather every morning. Yes, you should, you should keep one omer of manna per family. You must not keep for the next morning because it would simply become corrupt and full of worms. And if you hold it too long in the day, it may melt because the sun melts it. And then sixth day, in order for you to keep the Shabbat right properly, there would be a gathering of twice accumulation of manna so it will be kept for Shabbat. But, you know, how it was not something so straightforward. They, they, they were given the commandment, the instructions, but not all the time following them. But that's the way it is. So with that said, let's say to about the food that was given to the Israelites. And I want to wish you all the best. And to and as always... אני מחכה לכם, so send me your comments, להתראות.